Hi. Last minute, but I was going to just do my um, gua sha routine anyways, so I figured I'd just put Dewey down for a nap and then come on here and do a live. I haven't done one in a while with gua sha, even though they're saved. Um, sometimes this is different, and of course I'll do a Q&A &A at the very end. So if you guys want to follow along, um, I'm definitely going to turn off the comments. I'm just going to wait a little bit, like another minute or two, and I'll turn off the comments and then <laughs> she's like biting, play biting my cat. Come here, Ruby, come here. Um, I'm going to turn off the comments and at the very end, I'll turn them back on and we'll go over some questions. <clears throat> She's getting so big. Look at my baby. Look at her, she's so beautiful. Ugh, I love her. Where is everyone tuning in from? <clears throat> so I've already cleansed my skin. I do have a little bit of mascara on and lipstick, but other than that, nothing. Unfiltered, you guys are so sweet. I will save it. I will save it for at least 24 hours. Where are you guys calling, uh, tuning in from? I would love to know. Okay. Amazing. I hope everyone's okay. A lot's going on in the world that's like super heavy and sad. I hope everyone's feeling well. Wow, so cool. There she goes, there she goes. Amazing. Do you all do gua sha already? How are you feeling? Do you feel confident with your practice or not so much? Do you have many questions? Yes, prayers for Afghanistan, it's, it, it's devastating. I can't even believe what's going on in the world. Can't believe it, that we're living through this. Thank you so much. I would love to know if you guys do gua sha already and if you are, you know, comfortable with the practice. Good. Istanbul, wow, that's so amazing. It's so cool. Okay. Yes, but more guidance and practice. I don't. Okay, so the reason why I ask because gua sha, first of all, I cleansed and t and um, added some more sea buckthorn, so that's already on. But yeah, you have my stone. That's amazing. So the reason why I ask if you do gua sha is because if you don't, I I just feel like it's such it's such a a, a loss. It, it's such a powerful tool. I don't think that. Forget the tool, it's such a powerful practice and modality. Come down, Ruby. Right on my towel, right on my towel. Okay. It's such a powerful practice that it's so, it's such a shame to not try it and to see the potential of what your, your skin can look like and how it can function better. So it is really, really something that you, you do wanna explore. It's not just about, anti-aging and, and um, improving fine lines and wrinkles and all of that, but it's really about um, improving the function of the skin. That That's the most important, why? Oh my God, Yael, Hamuda. So cute. It really is a game changer. It's about improving the function of the skin. And when you improve the function of the skin, you start to see things like, you know, certain uh, inflammatory skin conditions such as um, rosacea, acne, even pigmentation. All of those things start to improve and to, to fade away. And obviously certain skin conditions, um, they stem from an internal imbalance, but anything that you can do Top physically and topically on the skin, um, it's. I mean, 
it's super empowering to learn that. So, trouble with the video. Are you guys, do you guys hear me well? Is it, is everyone okay with the, is the service okay? The connection? Oh my gosh, this cat. Ruby, no. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off the comments and I'm gonna start. And then at the very end, we'll go over Q&A. Um, so again, this modality is not so much for me about, you know, depuffing, anti-aging, all of that. I don't like to think about um, aging in a negative light, but it's more about getting the skin to a healthy functioning state so that in turn you do slow down the aging process. But everything else will just look so much better. Even the little fine line and wrinkle that you do have will just look so much better when the skin is healthy. All right, so here we go. I am going to, I always forget how to do this. Always. Um, wait. Comments. Here, okay. No. Down. Okay, guys. I'm just gonna take her out. Hold on. Okay. So very important to be hydrated even before. Um, the treatment will just take way better. Um, but also really important to follow with water after. Um, you can throw a lemon in there, some mint, whatever it is that will allow that water to absorb better by our body. Um, but really, that's also why I love to do this in the morning or in the daytime, just because it forces me to be more aware of how much water I'm drinking, because sometimes I can forget, especially when I'm at work. So starting the day off with gua sha, just sort of like, you know, forces me to drink more, and I love that. Okay, so I've applied oil. You don't want too much slip because you do want there to be some grip. So what you're gonna do is you're always gonna start at the neck and shoulders. That's really important. So if you're doing gua sha and you're just skip, skipping over those areas or you're just doing them really quickly um, in order to get to the face, then you're doing a disservice, you're not gonna get the same benefit, you're not gonna get the same result. Um, the neck and shoulders is where you wanna begin and focus on most, especially, um, I mean, that's where it starts. That's where all of the major lymphatic pathways are, um, your lymph nodes, we have so much tension and blockages, adhesions are accumulating in our neck and shoulders, so we wanna clear those adhesions, those blockages to create space for movement. So by movement, I mean increasing circulation. So for blood, for oxygen, which both speed up the healing process, that's why you'll see that your acne marks will get lighter or pigmentation, um, but also to promote healthy lymphatic flow, which is why you'll see depuffing and just more vibrant skin. Um, so also you don't want stagnant lymph. Stagnation, right, so that means stuck. If the lymph becomes stuck, it becomes toxic, and that releases basically toxic chemicals, again, leading to certain skin conditions that we don't want, such as rosacea, acne, pigmentation, um, and so on. So really important to think about why you're doing what you're doing. When you work with intention, the results are gonna be so much better. So you're gonna be basically thinking like, opening up the neck and shoulders affects the jaw. Opening up the jaw affects the under eye area and cheek area. It starts from here, okay? You can always start from the um, decollete as well. That's, that's really nice, but not necessary. That can maybe just boost the results a little bit more. But you always wanna start on the back of the neck, just cupping the spine using a small angle, okay? So I made this stone out of just sort of like what I, I wanted, 
the perfect stone with the perfect angles that I just wanted. I combined it all in one and also use really, really high grade, jewelry grade nephrite, which is also why it's a higher price point. But besides that, it is handmade. So a lot of fakes out there, you're just not gonna get the same result and they're definitely not handmade. And it doesn't really bother me so much because I know the difference. So all the angles are super, super important and I'll go over them as I'm working along, okay? So small angle, cup the spine. And you always wanna start at the base, the base of wherever you're starting from and then you wanna completely follow through. Don't just stop midway. So completely follow through, especially into the hairline because we also, the muscle attachments are there, um, activating lymph, lymph nodes are there. So you wanna always follow through. It's hard to, for me to see here, but even you can start below. And here you're putting a good amount of pressure. It becomes sort of like intuitive. It should feel nice. You shouldn't be bruising yourself. It shouldn't be painful. Um, but you can definitely apply firmer pressure on the neck and shoulders. And you can do anywhere between three to 10. So if you have acne, you can definitely do 10 strokes on the neck and shoulders, um, but I would never recommend to overstimulate to do more than three passes on the face, okay? Um, and obviously, if you have like inflamed, like infected pustules, then you don't wanna pass over them with acne, but we'll go over that at the very end. This is very good for acne. You can't even believe how effective it is because you are releasing those toxins and you are promoting oxygen and blood um, to speed up that healing process and nourish the skin at the same time. So once you do the spine, you're gonna take the wave and you're gonna go on the side of the spine. And you can really give a good amount of pressure here. Use a good amount of pressure. And you wanna go slow, nice and slow. Don't worry too much about the angle. So usually when I talk about performing the gua sha on the face, you wanna make sure that, the, that you get the benefits of the actual jade if you're using a real jade. So you want to, it refines the pores, it has a lot of really healing properties. So you want to actually physically um, have the, the gua sha stone almost flat on the skin. But when you're talking about focusing on the neck, just get in there with, with pressure and release those, those blockages and the tension. So you're gonna go on the spine, like on the side of the spine and then move over, sort of overlap to cover that whole area. Okay, then you're gonna go on the shoulder all the way behind the ear. If you're pregnant, avoid this area because there are stimulating points um, and so you don't wanna bear down. Just avoid those areas, uh, everything else is safe, okay? So you can either use this hand or use this hand, whatever feels better. Here I feel like I, I have more control so I personally like to use the same hand um, as the same side that I'm working on. Red is fine. If you start to notice redness, that's totally normal, but you don't want to go too hard where it's going to be painful. No, this should feel lovely. And usually I'll be in my bathroom. I'll dim the lights. Um, I have dimmers in the bathroom probably specifically for this. And I'll just close my eyes. When I get to my face, I start to open my eyes and look where I'm going and what I'm doing. But on the shoulders and the neck, I like to just really, really, really relax, relax myself. Otherwise, if you do it a certain way, that's, you can become more tense with this practice. So doing it on yourself, if that makes sense. So just really relax. And also then you can also hit on the traps. So going a little bit right here on the back, 
and then following all the way up, following through. So shoulders, and I like to even go back and forth here. That feels so amazing. It's the best, the best. Okay, now you go right under the ear and right on the SCM muscle, if you turn, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a way to, there we go, like to visibly see your, your SEM muscle. And this is a really important one because if it gets tight, it can create a lot of problems in your neck and face. So we're gonna work it out, but at the same time, there are lymph nodes that run along this muscle and this is a major lymphatic pathway. So from right under the ear, this is lymphatic and you're gonna go very, very gentle feather-like strokes, slow. The lymph system is slow to begin with as we age. It slows down even more, becomes sluggish. So this is really important, just like I also promote, um, you know, getting lymphatic drainage massage on your body, Be not, not so much for the enjoyment or again, for deep puffing or deep bloating, but for health. So you can just give a little wiggle right there to activate the lymph. Sometimes I even just go all the way out, down. Definitely important if you have acne to focus right over here. A lot of times people will break out right here, here, under here, and that has a lot to do with poor lymphatic movement, lymphatic drainage. So this can, can be very effective. And then you can go out like this. Excuse my hair, I literally didn't do anything besides wash it because I finally have a hair appointment tonight. I'll be dying. Okay. Oof. I feel, I feel the lymph flowing and already I feel so much you know, less tense here. And that's, that's amazing. That's going to affect and impact um, the condition of my face right away. Okay, now that I use the wave, what I like to do is go back with the teeth. I use the teeth on every section. You're going to use more of a gentle uh, pressure, but this is really important because this works by really pr promoting a full body experience. It touches on certain points and channels and meridians um, that impact, you know, certain internal systems and organs. So it's really, you're sending energy throughout the whole body. And this is the game changer when it comes to my stone. It's the teeth. They're really, really different and absolutely beautiful. I, I love it. Also, when you use it on the face, you see that the, the pores more refined, all of that. Um, just a lot a lot more of a dramatic result. Okay, so, and here I love to go into the hair and just do little, like really, really get in there because it's super tense there. And also right over here, the SEM muscle, this muscle that we spoke about, it connects, it, it attaches, and that is really important to um, relax and release. So get in there. Okay. That's the best. And you don't need that much pressure here at all. Good if you can actually uncross your legs. Take nice deep breaths. Sometimes there's a point over here with reflexology that really, really um, helps to really access like that deep breathing. And so I like, if I can't get into the right breaths, the breathing mo motion, so I like to sort of like massage it as I'm doing it. I know this may sound silly, but I like to sort of 
massage that point. You don't need a tool for that. You can just use your finger. And it literally opens everything up. It's incredible. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the front portion of the neck um, where the pressure is going to be way less than the back and the shoulders. Keep that in mind. But I love to use the teeth first here. So what you're doing essentially is just bringing blood and energy up to the face. So don't, don't think of this as so overwhelming when you just think that you're really going up around the whole neck. You're going up except for right over here on the side. Very easy to remember, right? So you're gonna start below the clavicle, that's important, and you're gonna go on the side of the throat, so from here to here, and you're gonna go up with the teeth and then overlap, move over, This one is really, really important for lifting. Very effective. Oh my God, it feels so good. And we're like told to not even touch our, our neck. Um, I just remember like never really touching my neck until I started doing gua sha and it's so important. My neck has changed so much. And again, that impacts your face. Wow, feels so good. Then you're gonna take the teeth and you're gonna start from right below the chin, the jaw. You're gonna move till you can't really go any farther, uh, any further, and then you're gonna flip and then move back to the spine. This is a little bit, this takes a second to get the hang of, but you go back, flip, all the way to the spine. From the throat to the spine and go down oof this is the best you're moving everything so i'm working from below to right over here come down and out i hope that made sense and you can always you know, if you feel like things started becoming more tense again, you can go over, there are no rules. Very intuitive, should feel good. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the teeth once again, and over here we have lymph nodes as well, and they're very small, so they tend to fill up super easily, uh, which that's why many people think they have like a double chin, or you know, just they have a lot of like I don't want to say jowls because they don't have jowls, but it looks like they have jowls. So here, doing that whole um, routine will affect, will impact the jaw and chin without even touching, physically touching the chin and the jaw. But obviously to take it a step further, we're going to actually um, treat these areas. So very gentle and slow. And you'll feel you're gonna feel these little crunchies. You could do 10 of these, and then you're gonna glide out to the ear. So you're gonna use a little bit more pressure on the chin, but then you're gonna really ease up, gliding right under. Little pressure, and then you're gonna really ease up. Here, it's all lymph, so it's feather-like strokes. Okay, so you've gone under the jaw, now you're gonna go on the jaw. So you're gonna take the little angle and you're gonna uh, support the skin and you're gonna go all the way, glide all the way to the ear. And make sure that your hand is like this, not like this, because this can cause tension in the neck and shoulders again. So have your hands sort of positioned like this, but relax 
and close your eyes. And here you're gonna feel many crunchies. You can also take it up here, give a little, there is ta an attachment here, so it's always super crunchy and tense. That's amazing for TMJ pain. You can also wiggle here. But you don't, don't focus on like getting those crunchies to go away, because then you're just gonna end up being sore. 10 passes is enough. Then, so you've gone below the jaw, on the jaw, now you're gonna go above the jaw. So you're going to hold it as flat as you can on the skin. And you're gonna glide out, supporting the skin. Here you can use more pressure, but again, nothing that's painful. I don't like to talk while I do this because then it tenses up. So I'm just gonna go for it and then we can discuss it after. And then you go up a little bit, sort of on the resource muscle. This is the resource muscle. Gives us that smile. So here, in the center of the lips. Oh, that's heaven, because this angle is right on the masseter. And that's a muscle that's super tense, like, for everybody, whether you have TMJ or not. So be as flush to the skin to benefit from the actual jade. Refine those pores, tighten everything, firm everything, and out. Mm, so good. God, it's heaven. And you're gonna go up a little bit. Just gonna work up the face. Now you're like cupping the jawbone. Always work into the hairline. Working up. Up. Now, my favorite is to take the teeth and work along the skin, the face, okay? So you're gonna slowly glide out. Over here, there's a major lymphatic pathway, so always try to wiggle there. And at the very end, I'll show you how to also release, which really impacts how deep, how you'll see how depuffed you are at the very end. You de definitely do wanna stimulate here. this can be but you're not pressing hard into the skin at all I'm not pressing hard at all and you can see how rosy my cheeks are getting that natural flush is so beautiful you can just sort of like freestyle here. You don't have to support as you're going up. Uh, I'm wearing lipstick, so I'm not gonna go over my lips, but here you would just hold your mouth, support your mouth and just glide over the lips. And that's amazing. Uh, for the muscle, orbicularis oris, that's around, surrounding our mouth. That gives us that pout. And also for the laugh lines. But for the laugh lines, you can also take this tip of the stone and you can trace the laugh line, gentle. And wiggle, but support. Wiggle, so if the line is like this, and you're going to wiggle horizontally. If the line is vertical, you're gonna wiggle horizontally, but moving down and up, if that makes sense. So like this. This is, this is incredible because this also just sends nutrients to the area and promotes hydration. 
I can't visibly see my laugh lines after a gua sha routine at all. And at the very end, you're gonna take the teeth and glide out. Okay, then the eye area. You're gonna go on the orbital bone. So not right under the eye, but on the orbital bone, you're gonna support your skin here. It's gonna be flush to the skin and you're gonna go out. So gentle, so gentle. Good. Perpendicular. And this tip, gently leaning on the orbital bone, but you're not pressing in. You're gonna break your bone. So gently just leaning on, and the weight of the stone, you're gonna use it to just zigzag on that orbital bone all the way to, oh, and this feels amazing, on the temple. This angle feels amazing. So you're gonna wiggle all the way into the hairline. God, this is so hard to do this with like other people and to enjoy it because you can ultimately relax, but it's still so enjoyable and relaxing. This can't help that. Heaven, heaven. Okay, then you're gonna take that same angle and just glide the weight of the, using the weight of the stone, not pressing or digging in. Now I go back to this angle and I go closer under the eye, but very gentle. And when I get right over here to the corner, I flip it to use this angle and back. Okay, you wanna relax those muscles of the eye. Here for crow's feet, again, you're going to support the skin and the crow's feet go vertically down like that. So you're gonna support and horizontal motions, but going vertically. Gentle, please. And always take the teeth and glide out. Okay. You can use the wave here to just sort of pass, do a couple of freestyle movements. Oh, so good. The nose, take the little angle. Don't forget that you have a muscle on the nose. So you can definitely depuff this area and also relax the muscle, nourish the muscle. And when you go up and you get right over here to these two points, you can just stay there for a second. So good. And then all the way into the hairline. Okay, now very simple in the forehead, you're gonna take the teeth, you're going to always support with your finger as you're gliding up so that the skin doesn't, um, you know, doesn't move as you're gliding up. You wanna support the skin. And here you're gonna feel like it's, as you're gliding up, there's just so much stuckness. Um, and so releasing that is gonna help so much soften those wrinkles and improve the fine lines. Into the hairline, there are many lifting points right over here. So you wanna wiggle and really apply pressure as you're right here, it feels amazing. And below the brow and up below the brow, but make sure that you're supporting, so you're not like stretching the skin as you're moving up. And you can just go back and forth. Oh my God, this feels so good. And these movements are so gentle and so slow, but they're yet they're so relaxing and so effective. And then as you do a good amount of those, you're gonna glide out, because you have lymph nodes there as well, into the hairline. Okay, you're gonna take, you're gonna flip the tool over like so. And by the way, this, you have like a little thumb indentation, which is amazing. 
to for, perform the whole um, routine, but here you're gonna flip it over so it's more, it's gonna be with your index finger and you're going to very gently as well work up into the brow as you're gliding out. And you can slow it down. You can then take this angle You can see how much more lifted and relaxed that is. You can also move the lymph like this, very gentle. You'll actually see the lymph visibly. Okay. Down. Lastly, you always want to go, not last, but two more things. So you want to refer back to the neck a couple times especially this one. I'm speeding it up, you're gonna go slower, but especially this one, refer back, do a couple more of those. Then at the very end, you're going to, over here we have lymph nodes as well, and so if you wanna depuff the nose and under eye area, first of all, the jaw will impact the under eye area. So keep that in mind, but then you wanna to go to the actual source. So you're going to take this angle right here and you're going to gently, hardly using any pressure, glide down. Remember the lymphatic system is superficial. So if you press too firm, um, you're bypassing the lymph system. You're not gonna achieve what you want. And then, starting from below, you're going to sort of, it's called pump and release, but you're going to pull down, release, pull down, release. And you're gonna eventually get this flow, which is gonna help to, oh my God, first of all, it feels incredible. Second of all, you're really moving that lymph. You can even see it. but you don't pull and pull down. Not really, you don't wanna be pulling on the skin. It's super, super gentle. So, so until you get that flow, then just pull slightly, release, pull, release, pull, release, pull, release, and then down. That's a little bit more advanced, but I thought I'd show you here as well. And then here, you can cup, right here is huge to work on. So this is a major lymphatic pathway, so you want to also release it. So pump and release, oh my God, heaven. And then down. That is it. And I've done something so beautiful and healthy for my skin. Forget, forget the depuffing aspect of it because that's always like instant gratification. But I've literally worked on the deeper layers of my skin to promote what it already know, like it already knows to do these things. You just have to guide it and aid it and um, facilitate that process. So that's that. Uh, I'm not gonna do my other side, but now, because it's just too long, I'm gonna take some questions and then I'm gonna finish up after. Um, and at the very end of this, you can either add a little bit more oil or remove the residue with the Mystic, for example, the toner and follow with your other products. My gosh, this side just feels so open. So I'm going to open up the comments. 
and here we go ask away i hope that you guys enjoyed that it's so oof it feels so good and it, it's just something that's so beautiful to do for yourself you have that power to change your skin transform your skin all on your own i will i'm gonna definitely save this the process should take so i basically spoke throughout this right so oh good i'm so glad you will love it you will love the stone it's it's i'll go back to that but anyway this should be 10 minutes on each side if you want to take longer you can but minimum 10 minutes will suffice okay so the dress is so cute and i'm getting my period so i'm super bloated but it is um little lace little lace is the the brand i think they're from australia okay no so there's no written um steps because i just feel like it's so much easier to visually see it i have a video youtube uh youtube video showing you from a to z um changing routine for all kinds of pain amazing this makes me so happy so i have a youtube video showing you everything from a to z with a voiceover so it's literally 10 minutes if it's so easy to follow along how to empty lymph nodes for so it's not about emptying lymph nodes it's facilitating healthy lymph flow and it's doing all of that and then definitely like all of the neck area and then definitely here but gua sha is amazing for acne amazing and yes while this stone is a little there are stones that are more expensive while this stone is on the higher price point look you don't need to start with this to actually enjoy and benefit from gua sha but what i do find is that when you use a stone that's real authentic jade first and foremost um and has those certain angles that are going to elevate the result it just makes you want to do it more i i can't explain it any other way so it's definitely uh an investment but it's like no other lower price stones i would say like i don't know it's all about uh making sure that you're getting um it from a credible source because there are stones all over the place i mean so many people including people that follow me which is so sad like estheticians who uh took the mold of my stone i mean they put it on a conveyor belt whatever it is and they they replicated the stone again it's not the same because it's really really has a lot to do with the, the it's such an intricate design for the teeth but it really has to do with the actual nephrite itself the actual nephrite, which the ones that are replicating the stone are using most likely marble and just substances coated with dye, things that will end up irritating your skin. And I, I don't see the point in doing that. This is so if you're going to want to go after a, a lower price point, there are companies out there that you can, you know, that I, that I trust that you can get something good. Yeah, the stones from Cecily Braden are natural. Um, real she has a lower price point just because it's a lower grade of um, jade but also of nephrite but also the teeth like the fact that this is handmade this the teeth that are like sort of protruding it, it just makes the whole thing that much more difficult to do and um, you know more expensive wildling is good it's BN stone but I just trust that company so definitely a better price point it is worth the investment um, okay, what type of material? This is jewelry grade nephrite, but it's like really high grade. I mean, it took me a very long time to, to find, because there are so many. So what was the point of coming out with something if it's not gonna be a little different, right? Um, but yeah, the, the teeth is what, and the fact that they're they're made hand, by hand, it's, it's what makes it so, so expensive. Which I honestly don't think it's that expensive because it's just something that, you use so much and I've dropped this stone before and it has not broken but don't try that on purpose okay uh, see buckthorn is safe for pregnant women yes but always confirm with your OB very important my stone is two hundred dollars doodab is not only for acne prone skin it's also for uh, melasma and pigmentation 
please recommend another oil. Yours does not get shipped to Mexico. Unfortunately, I wish this was my stone. It's not my stone. I mean, uh, my oil, it's not my oil. It is brilliant. I've tried many. This is the only company that I can vouch for that I absolutely see that incredible transformation with the oil cleansing method. So you're gonna have to do trial and error. How to buy the gua sha stone you're using and how often the gua sha should be done. So you guys, uh, the only place that you can get the real, uh, this, this is the original, uh, so any, where if you see it on any other website, it is a fake of my design. Um, so the only place that you can get this is on noiskincare.com. So shop slash noiskincare.com on our shop page. You can um, do this minimum three times a week. I would say that's that's beautiful, but if your skin likes and if you want to, every day you can even do it. And that's when I really, the stone energy is amazing. Yeah, like it's just, you're drawn to it. You're drawn to doing it more. It's not gonna sit on your counter and not get used. I literally, okay, I tried, when I first studied this, I tried like 20 different stones because I didn't understand what could possibly be the difference. So I found that using the thinner stones, the, the less expensive stones, the ones that were very simple in design, they were almost like using a toy. Like it would take me forever to achieve any kind of result. And I just feel like time is something that you cannot get back like that that's I want to be efficient with my time and so when I started using originally that white uh, nephrite by Nathalie which is more expensive than this it's it's the original it's the OG and it's amazing but when I started using that I was like wow there's a clear difference like I never used my other stones again it was like I'm not gonna waste my time on that I'm just drinking water you want to follow with a lot of water I'm trying to drink the water but I keep talking Hi, Pita. You clean it with warm water and gentle soap. So my, my baby's soap is uh, the California baby. I love to clean it with that. Hydrating the skin is definitely gua sha. You're working on the deeper layers of the skin, but oil will not hydrate the skin. Oil will provide moisture, but you want to add something like the colostrum or the HA intensive serum, which I've been loving lately. Um, I store my stone in my little baggie. It's a linen bag that... I love too. It's so girly and dainty and beautiful. And I store it on my um, countertop and my vanity. I do it three times a week minimum, but I always try to do more. So four or five, rarely five, maybe four. It's just hard to get it in with everything else that I'm doing. But I don't know if the paste is kosher. I don't know about that. A bit more experience. Yep, yep anything you recommend to help reduce freckles. Freckles are so beautiful. If you're talking about pigmentation, we have so many products, the Mela Even Sea Boost, Mela Prep, Rolling. Rolling is, I'm gonna talk more about rolling because it's so, with everything that's been going on, it's been hard for me to do these and to do um, a lot of tutorials. I'm gonna get back into it and rolling is something that I wanna touch up on, but rolling has to be done properly. So it's something that, that we'll definitely discuss. Um, yes, so this is safe for pregnant women, but you just want to avoid the shoulder area. Okay. Okay, without talking daily, how long does your gua sha routine take? 10 to 15 minutes? It takes me 15 to 20 minutes. I would say 10 minutes on each side. If you follow the uh, YouTube tutorial, you'll see that the actual from start to finish of me working on, on one side of my face is 10 minutes. So that's usually what it takes me on each side. Um, the oil is available on our website and it is the best. All the products that I discuss and sell to my clients, I also offer on our website for you guys. Okay, yeah, the energy, like what can I say using a real, real, if you know anything about crystals and you know that there is a specific energy to the stone. Okay, so is it preferable to do gua sha in the AM or can you do it in the PM? Many of my clients do it in the PM. I just personally am so exhausted at the end of the day that I 
I don't like to do it. Whenever I do have energy and I do do it in the evening, I like to do it in the early evening so I could drink lots of water because you do have to flush out the toxins that you are moving. Um, okay, let's see. You guys are so sweet. Yes, so it's gonna help with fascia as well. Um, when I sort of did this movement, here, when you sort of support the skin, not stretch, but support it and gently move, glide as you're supporting it, that's um, targeting fascia. Does it not irritate skin to put stone in hairline and then back? I mean, I have to say that I usually do, I, no. Cause it's not, you're not really going too much into this, into the hair, but how dirty is your hair when you're doing gua sha? I don't know. It's never really a, an issue for me. And if you're worried about that, just go right here. Like try to follow through as best as you can. Let's say. I remember getting the gua sha stone in her store before she had it on her website and the happiest girl on the flight back home. Yes, it's the best. It makes me so happy. Okay, clean, clean the stone with warm water, gentle soap. That's it. Can you talk about gua sha routine during breakouts? Very simple. It's not going to be high, high from Turkey. Gua sha for breakouts. Just do the whole neck routine. The whole neck routine, focus, keep going. Focus on the neck and that will in turn provide that, the to clear those pathways so that there is going to be movement and things can 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 flush out. Now, if you don't have postules like infected pimples, you can absolutely pass over breakouts, but no pressure and no teeth. So very gentle just to promote a little bit of movement in those areas and also don't overstimulate, please but you're not doing really anything different. Um, I remember when I learned gua sha, they said not to go over breakouts, to work under them. So if that makes you feel good, you can do that. I personally, if I have a little bit of a breakout happening, I still pass over it just very gentle with this if it's not infected and it is unbelievable. So effective in speeding the healing process. So that spot is going to go away quicker. Like sometimes I'll break out and I'll do gua sha the day before and then the day after I'll just notice like my, my breakout has improved and then also when you do break out or when your skin's like blotchy or going through something, resort back to just using the sea buckthorn. So your sea buckthorn is your, the place to start to sort of like scale back, bring your skin to a natural functioning state. So if you're breaking out, less is more. That's really important. Don't throw more, more actives on your skin. Just do this and you'll notice your um, acne inflammation going down. I will, I will save this. So if you, again, if a lot of times when I do gua sha, I just follow with the sea buckthorn or the doodab because you're doing most of the work for your skin with the gua sha, you are really getting to the deeper layers of the skin. So hydrating, plumping, um, increasing circulation, promoting collagen and elastin, all of those things, this is like the only thing you really need. But if you wanna boost even more, if you're treating pigmentation and you wanna do your products, so what you'll do after the uh, gua sha is you're gonna take your toner. So I use Mystic. You're gonna spray it on a cotton round, remove the residue. You're not gonna have that much oil left. A lot of it will absorb into the skin. So you're gonna remove that residue and then you're gonna follow with your moisturizer or serums. I'm a flight attendant and my oil leaked from the pressurization on the plane. How can I fly with the sea buckthorn oil without it leaking? That is the, the most annoying thing with this oil. It's leaked for me so many times and super frustrating. So now I wrap it in bubble wrap. It's like the only way, like I wrap it and I put it in a bag and it's the only way it doesn't, it doesn't get all over. Unfortunately, I am 36 years old. The lipstick color is, oh boy, 
I love it. It's such a beautiful combination, but so the line is by KKW, I fr Nude One, I think, and then the actual lipstick is from Ilia, but I can't remember the color. I'll post it after. You welcome. It's really my pleasure. I'll do more of these 100%. Yes, the same routine will help with acne, but you're going to avoid using the teeth on the face and going too many passes like overstimulating or maybe not using as much pressure think about it you just but going gently and passing over if you have even cystic acne is very good it's, it's it's going to promote movement just don't use any pressure where you would open any lesion how do you put what do you put in the skin before using it? So I cleanse and then I apply more of this, just one product. Yes, the gua sha definitely helps with jowls because like I said, many, many clients come to me and they're like, I decided to try you first before I go visit, you know, a uh, dermatologist, plastic surgeon, whatever, um, anyone who does injections because they're concerned with jowls. But a lot of time when I finish one side of their face, they notice that it's not, it's, it's just a lot of accumulation of fluid. So try this before you ever address jowls with injections, fillers, things like that because it's unbelievable when you see the potential of what your face actually looks like when you promote movement, you're gonna have a completely different idea of what's happening. I will do more tutorials, I promise. I've been, I've been like we were doing renovation and I can't, when, when things are not like calm around me in my, in my surrounding, in my environment, I can't really like focus on, on much. That's just how I am. So um, I'm back. Okay, how do you order one? You can order anything that I talk about on um, our website. How do you feel about Botox and filler for anti-aging compared to your technique? I get this question all the time. I really feel like I can't judge anyone who wants to do Botox. First of all, I'm just not a judgmental person, but I, to each their own, everyone has their thing. Like I had really bad acne, so acne is like always my goal. Even when I don't break out, it's as if I still have acne, it's bizarre. Probably people who have acne will will relate to that, but I, I don't have that many wrinkles. I mean, things are definitely, my laugh lines are starting to creep up and so I can't, I'm not so passionate about wrinkles yet because I don't have them, but I don't think that they don't really bother me like I prefer to see a wrinkle on a on a woman that I know is like a little bit older than to not I just feel like it's a little bit weird not to see the natural aging pr process um, but when your skin is healthy when it's as in a healthy state hydrated dewy plump everything is going to look so much better you're not going to focus on those little imperfections and we all have imperfections. On top of that, my mom never did that stuff so it was not an example for me. Like, She has beautiful skin. I mean, she tends to sag a little bit more than wrinkle but she has a couple of wrinkles and I just think she's so beautiful. At some point, um, I can't imagine it being healthy for your skin. Uh, with, with So if you're concerned with healthy skin, I wouldn't really opt for Botox and filler because at some point as you get older and you continuously have to do the injections, you're going to start to see your skin depleted. It's just a matter of time. So yeah, while well, in the beginning it might be beautiful, um, it all depends what your goal is. If wrinkles really bother you, then definitely go for it. But Gua Sha can give you a beautiful, beautiful result with uh, wrinkles and fine lines and also facial taping. Like face face taping is so underrated. Um, although I feel like in Europe it's huge, I will definitely show myself using it more, talk more about it, but wow, it is incredible, incredible. I would say that face taping is more um, conducive and more effective on, on wrinkles, um, but a gua sha is like holistic, if that makes sense, and definitely impacts that. That was a little bit of a rant, but 
I, I don't like to tell you guys not to do fillers and, and Botox because some people just hate their wrinkles so much that this is the only thing that they can focus on. And this takes work. So if you're not patient and, and consistent, you're not gonna see results with the alternative uh, option. Okay, let's see. What can you not find on our website? The stone? I'll, I think I, I actually think that I created a swipe up earlier today for the stone. How did you come up with your gua sha design? So for, uh, so I basically hired my cousin who, uh, it was, it was intense because she lives over in Israel. So we like just to get together and discuss it in um, different time zones it was it was a little bit difficult but she's brilliant in design and i told her exactly what i wanted and there were many different prototypes very expensive by the way um which is also why you know people who 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 copy just irritate me irritates me because they didn't have to go through that whole process and um, they're, they're just lying about, about what their stone provides or that it's theirs or whatever. So that's a little bit frustrating, but I try not to think about it. Um, I spent a lot of time on the design with her, different prototypes, we got them, didn't like it, whether it was too small, too thick. It was just like such a process, a year and a half in the making. Can you imagine a year and a half and a lot of money and yeah, the design was her and I, and she just brought it to life. So for double chin exercise, definitely opening up the neck is huge and what I showed you, but if you wanna use your uh, fingers, your hands, you can just put your hands together, but after you open the neck, because if you go straight to the face with washer or with your hands without opening, and releasing that tension, creating the pathway in the neck and shoulders, you're gonna end up maybe initially seeing a result, but like after five minutes, it will all pull back and you might break out, have a headache. Um, so very important to open the neck and shoulders first before addressing the face. So just like this, that the, um, the massage movement that I do on people in the treatment room where I'm working like this on their on their chin this is a way that you could do it on yourself it's not as effective obviously but definitely still beautiful so you just put your hands together and glide all the way back and out just like that Can mom and I share the same stone? Yes, absolutely. No question about it. Um, I, I personally would just, I mean, you don't even have to clean. You could still clean it the same way that you would clean it to your mom. You can clean it with just gentle soap and water. In the treatment room from one client to another, we sanitize it very differently. So yeah, go ahead, do it. Yes, it helps with under eye uh, dark circles for sure. Just focusing on the jaw will definitely um, impact the under eye area. Um, also, the eye doctor is phenomenal for dark circles and just brightening the eye area. Um, working with facial reflexology on the water element can address dark circles big time. Um, what else? Eye massage, facial taping. You have so many options. So many options if you, if and, and they become self-care, you know? rituals that you'll look forward to. I will I will save this live. Okay. You could do gua sha on children, but don't over not too many passes. How young? I don't know. You have to be careful just not to, to go too much. No, you can leave the sea buckthorn. Usually I'll just add more sea buckthorn, but now I feel like I have to do my other side. Like I feel that difference. Oh my goodness, wait. These are coming in too fast. Whoa, okay. 
I didn't see how many. Uh, okay, face, that's so funny. You look like Julia Roberts. I get that so much and I just don't, she's so gorgeous. So that's like the biggest compliment. Okay, face taping. Face taping is, a method where you first massage to just soften facial fascia um, and, and release the fascia and just to get things going. And then you take kinesiology tape, which is here in this instance used for cosmetic purpose, but kinesiology tape, unlike something like frownies, for example, kinesiology tape mimics the structure of the skin. So when you tape correctly, there is a method where you apply it, how much tension you're putting, whether it is, uh, whether you're addressing lymphatic drainage or muscle, like muscular. So basically you're going to apply the tape and it creates a lift in the skin because it mimics the structure of the skin. And so it allows for continuous flow of blood, oxygen, uh, lymph, nutrients. It's like gua sha on steroids. It's just liter it's even amazing to do gua sha before and then tape. And then you stay with it for a little bit because you create that space like for hours. You stay with it for hours, for four, four to six hours or you sleep with it overnight start slow because it's tape you know um so and then you start to notice incredible change in not only um uh fine lines and wrinkles but also the structure of your face and again it really does promote healthy functioning skin as well how do you open the neck i did that in the very beginning so i'll save this and you can refer to it Yes, I like to do one side completely and then move over to the other, but you can absolutely do like the neck first and then go up to the face. There are no rules in that. <laughs> okay, hi Donna, do you still recommend using the Omnilux face mask? I get this question so much. Yes, like I love LED. I love LED, I'm a big, big, face taping is life changing. It really is. Like if you're not lazy and you do these modalities, you practice them, I mean, anything is possible with your face. So where was I? Oh, the Omnilux. Yeah, I love LED. So when I was, first of all, we no longer sell the Omnilux for, for technical issues. We had a lot of problems with the manufacturer it was too much and it would just became a business decision. Um, and in some point it was, it was they, they did a little bit, you know, bad business with us. So that's one thing. But if you have it, yeah, use it, absolutely. I still do LED all the time. A little bit less than I did in quarantine. If, if you were following me in quarantine, I did it so much because I didn't have the spa. But because I have the spa, I do laser genesis every two weeks, or I do a peel every two weeks, or I do, like there are all of these uh, professional modalities that are just at my fingertips. So I, I, I just don't have that much, you know, it's not necessary for me to do the uh, LED at home because of that. But if you have it, yes, LED is phenomenal. It's amazing. I don't like face shaving if we're talking about uh, dermal planning. It's just not for me. What eye cream is better, Vita Peptide Eye Gel or Cosmetic Crystal? Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, the Peptide Eye Gel. I don't use it, but it's just more, it has the vitamin A. So actually it depends. It depends. Are you, is your skin more sensitive or is it more mature skin? I, it all depends. They're both so good, but if you want vitamin A, so for just more dramatic results, the peptide eye gel, it's the blue one from the youth essentia. Um, I personally love the eye doctor personally, and I would recommend OptiCrystal in the morning and eye doctor at night. Okay, I love TCA peels, has to be done uh, with a proper technician, that's for damn sure, and don't overdo it. Can laser genesis be used on darker fits? Yes, absolutely. Um, it is colorblind, so it could be used on 
you know, the lightest person to the darkest person. Uh, Yoni, <laughs> lo yefe, lo yefe. My brother is here. You missed the gua sha. You missed it. Okay, so it can be done on uh, the darker skin types. It's just using a... No, I didn't ignore you. I didn't ignore you. I just don't check my messages all the time. Call me. Call me. I'm seeing you soon anyway. So it just needs to be done by, the, by a professional that knows how to work with darker Fitzpatrick. Um, use a lower setting. Not use too many pulses. That's all, but yeah, beautiful for darker skin types as well. High frequency, I use Paragon. Uh, that's the professional one I use. It's a little pricey, but it's really good. I used to use Silhouette Tone. I'm going to call you after this, Yon. I promise. Okay, guys. out of here yes I'm gonna save this live all right so I think that I answered many the alcohol and mystic is not harmful because it's a different form of alcohol I know it could be very confusing but there's some alcohol that's actually beneficial for the skin it's a different form it's the way that they extract it do you do your skincare routine before face taping no I just cleanse my skin I will I will um, do a swipe up for the face tape, but it's you. You should invest in um, in um, the course to know how to do it properly. That's just my recommendations. That's how I am. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for hanging out. Yes, Maria Nila head and hair shampoo is the one that I use for my hair. It's awful today, but. Thanks for hanging out and I promise to do this again. If you need any links, um, I will provide that for you. Okay. Dave. Dave, why don't you come here and show your face? Desmond. Look at this. Look at this. I do love microneedling, but again, it has to be done properly. Okay, guys. I love you. Love you, love you, love you. I will save this and I promise to do this again. Thank you.